Hello friends, from today onwards we are starting a new series called Mind Maps from which we can revise our chapters quickly and within minutes. So let's start. Mind Maps First of all you can see this mind map on the link given in description and you can read their definitions also from that link. So let's start. Chapter 1 Reproduction in Organisms now what is a lifespan of organism? The period from birth to the natural death of an organism represent its lifespan. From worm to tomb is lifespan. And lifespan is classified into three phases. First juvenile phase, second reproductive phase and third senescence phase. Juvenile phase is the period of growth from birth till reproductive maturity. In humans, it is from birth till puberty. Second, reproductive phase. It is the period when an individual organism reproduces sexually. And third, senescence phase. It is a phase when an organism grows old and loses the ability to reproduce. Next, reproductive phase is further classified into two types, asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction. What is asexual reproduction? In this method, a single parent is capable of reproducing or producing offspring. There are many types of asexual reproduction, for example, budding, in plants, yeast, and in animals, hydra. These are examples, yeast, yeast, and hydra. Budding is a type of asexual reproduction in which a new organism developed from a bud. For example, bacteria, yeast, coral, flatworms, jellyfish, these show budding. Second, multiple fission, for example, amoeba. Multiple fission is the process of asexual reproduction in which instead of two daughter cells, many daughter cells are produced from single parent cell. Examples of multiple fissions are sporogens and algae. Next is binary fission. There are three types of binary fission, longitudinal binary fission, transverse binary fission and irregular binary fission. It is the most common form of reproduction in prokaryotes or single celled eukaryotes. In binary fission, DNA replication and segregation occur simultaneously. When binary fission takes playing place along longitudinal plane, it is longitudinal binary fission and transverse binary fission takes place in ciliates such as paramecium. Now irregular binary fission, for example amoebae, the plane of division of cytoplasm varies but is always at right angles. Next is conidia, for example paramecium. These are the asexual spores that are born externally to the cells that produce them. ये बाहर होते हैं cells के जो इन्हें बनाते हैं. Next, gamules, for example spongilla. These are the internal buds found in sponges and are involved in asexual reproduction. Next, zoospore, for example chlamydomonas. A zoospore is a, a motile asexual spore that uses a flagellum for locomotion. This is swarm spore. S W A R M swarm spore. And this is protist bacteria and fungi that propagate. Karne ke liye. Next is vegetative propagation. It is also divided into many parts. For example, Rhizome Rhizome are the root-like stems that grow horizontally under the ground and lateral buds grow out to form new rhizome for example ginger next is runner what is runner income stolons we volte hai runners are the modified stems these are modified stems which makes a neat question Unlike rhizomes, they grow from existing stems below the surface 
and under the soil next is off offset for example pistia it is a part of branch or stem by which a plant can reproduce asexually and a new daughter plant is formed offset these are produced by mitotic division of the main stem of the plant next is tuber for example potato tubers such as potatoes are the fleshy underground storage structure composed of enlarged part of stem you have to remember this only and a tuber functions in asexual propagation as a result of a tiny scale leaves equipped with buds that grow on its surface you can read this definition on the link given in description next is leaf bud for example bryophyllum leaf bud is a form of asexual reproduction in which new plants grow from buds growing on the margin of the leaves and example is bryophyllum next is sucker what is a sucker it is a mode of asexual reproduction and vegetative propagation it is a non green slender stem branch which arises from the underground base of erect shoot or crown next is bulbil for example agave a bulbil is a small young plant that is produced vegetatively from axillary buds on the plant's stem next bulb for example onion these are the shortened underground storage structures next is asexual reproduction asexual reproduction is finished next is sexual reproduction it consists of three events pre fertilization events fertilization events and post fertilization events now what is sexual reproduction sexual reproduction involves formation of male and female gametes either by the same individual or by the different individual of opposite sex these gametes fo fuse to form a zygote which develops to form a new organism first event pre fertilization events this include two parts gametogenesis and gamete transfers gametogenesis refers to the process of formation of two gametes male and females and gametes are haploid cells now what is gamete transfers the process of bringing together of male and female gametes for fertilization through different means for example pollination is called gamete transfer now fertilization events also consist of two parts external fertilization and internal fertilization external fertilization occurs in most aquatic organisms such as majority of algae and fishes as well as amphibians and internal fertilization occurs in many terrestrial organism for example fungi higher animals such as reptiles birds mammals and in majority of plants for example bryophytes steridophytes gymnosperms and angiosperms post fertilization events also consist of two parts zygote formation and embryogenesis formation of the diploid zygote is universal in all sexually reproduce, reproducing organisms in organism with external fertilization zygote is formed in the external medium which is usually water and zygote is the vital link that ensure continuity of species between one generation to the next embryogenesis 
it refers to the process of development of embryo from the zygote during embryogenesis zygote undergoes cell division mitosis and cell differentiation animals are categorized into oviparous and viviparous based on the development of zygote takes place inside or outside of the female parent this is the whole mind map of this chapter and you can find it on the website of science as all link is given in description